Hi, this is Step Breaks. AI Artie is back with a brand new software called AI Artie Video Enhancer. What does it do? As the name suggests, this is for video. It can upscale video that was filmed in low resolution, it can get rid of noise and low light situations, and bring out details on a blurry clips. And lastly, it can create a slow motion from clips that were not necessarily filmed in slow motion. This software is for content creators and designers who need to enhance and upscale video clips for high quality designs, mockups and promotional material. This is a first look as well as tutorial on how to use this software. This video is brought to you by AI Artie. Let's just dive on how to use AI Artie Video Enhancer. I have here one AI generated clips. So this AI clip is in a very low resolution and lack of color. I find this actually quite blurry. Let's open the clip of a horse running. I am simply going to click the plus icon to import the clip. You can also import more clips as this software supports batch processing. Let's play the clip. As you can see, the details of the horse are not very very sharp. It feels a bit blurry to me. One thing I want to mention is that if you were to import a very long clip where you wanted to have only the portion of the clip selected, let's move to the right side and explain all controls. The first thing you are going to do is select the hardware you want to use depending on your computer system. I can choose from CPU, NVIDIA GeForce, or graphics card. I will leave it on NVIDIA. The next step would it be selecting an AI model that works the best for the particular clip. There are three options. Mo Details HQV2, Smooth HQV2, and Super Video VHQ. When you hit the question mark, it will explain in detail what such AI model does. Mo Details HQV2 generates more details. It delivers powerful deblurring and denoising with a particular edge in recovering. Fine textures such as hair strands, flowers, and outdoor plants. It enhances clarity and sharpness while preserving detail. It's especially effective in daylight outdoor scenes, nature shots, and portraits portraits where a sharp texture and natural details are essential. It supports one time, two times, and four times upscaling. Smooth HQV2 eliminates flaws in a video. This one provides natural deblurring and denoising. It excels in removing video flaws while preserving authentic color and texture continuity, ensuring clean and smooth output. It's ideal for general video, especially useful in scenes with people, outdoor lightning, or moderate imperfections. It supports one time, two times, and four times upscaling. Super Video VHQ is optimized for low light denoising, so the main focus is denoising under extremely low light conditions, such as night skies, urban nightscapes, or dimly lit interiors. The procession will be a bit slower as it goes for the best quality. It supports two times upscaling. For this clip, I will select the first one Mo Detail HQV2. Below the AI model selection are upscale controls. You can upscale up to four times or up to 4K. You can select a custom resolution. I'm going to leave it on two times. There is another control called Turbo. This will make export faster. However, I'm going for the quality so I will leave it unchecked. Let's go to the preview window and drag the slider to see before and after. There are significantly more details now and the edges of the horses are much sharper. Edit controls are next. Here you can rotate and flip the clip crop and work with multiple tracks. Below you have frame interpolation where you can change the frame rate of the clip and the last control is for audio denoise. I'm ready to explore the clip so I will hit export settings. I will leave the format on MP4 and video codec H264. There is no audio in this clip, so I don't have to worry about that. Then, I just need to select where I will save the file. Let's hit export. This bar shows up where you can see your original clips, dimensions on the left, and the upscaled size on the right. I'm using a high-level laptop, so export is pretty quick with my system. Let's play the original clips first. And here is the final clip. You can certainly see that it is much better now. Now let's take this clip as an example. To enhance the quality, I used Super Video VHQ AI model. And as you can see it, it enhanced the low quality video to its maximum quality. The before and after comparison clearly shows the importance of AI Artie Enhancer for quality purposes. Now let's take this clip as an example. Here I've used a anime Twixter clip. And the AI model I've selected for this purpose is Smooth HQ V2. If I slide the bar, you can clearly see the quality differences between before and after. The details are increased and sharpened the video to its maximum level. Here's another before and after comparison for you. The after tagged clip is looking more clean and enhanced as compared to the before. Now, if you're looking for the best video enhancer for your videos, then I'll suggest that AI Artie Enhancer is the best among all enhancer in the AI market field. It's clean, perfect, and accessible to all formats. And yes, these AI models of AI Art Enhancer are game changers. So let me know in the comments below. What do you think about iArty Video Enhancer? I would love to hear your opinion, your thoughts on this one. When it comes to me, I would like to see hopefully 
down the road if they would consider adding stabilization feature. I think that it would be very good if that tool would be included. So that's all for today's video. I've given the link of AIRD Video Enhancer in the video description and pinned comment section. Go check it out.